Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I haven't got a clue what this video is gonna be about I started uh, I had some drives here that we have been messing around with out in the data center they're here and uh, all of these has bad written on them and I put them in here with this um, server from bug and hardware well I just wanted to put them in another server and check them once again before I throw them out actually I have a plan of taking some of them apart and getting the magnets out of there I am out of neurodinium magnets so I need some but I have a problem I put in the first one and it's just good that was surprising so uh, yeah. there's no way they're all gonna be good but this surprised me so the server here which is the ASUS ESC 4000 generation 2 um, has a really nice um, LSI rate controller in there and I well more or less I just turned the computer on went into the rate controller and then I popped the drive in and it popped up here as a as a drive and um, states that there is nothing wrong with it it even has a, a fail count of zero so I have no idea why my server out there didn't like it so uh, yeah i think we'll try and do a little virtual drive on it let's see advanced software options do we have something fancy we we actually both have rate 6 and rate 5 on this server so awesome um, but let's just make a configuration wizard we're gonna add a configuration yes we're gonna do this manually no redundancy next this is a 600 gigabyte SAS drive so I'm just gonna try and add that and it has been added we're gonna go and next it's there add to span it's just a lot of next next finish they could really have done this more simple I have no idea why it has to be this complicated. So, um, with one drive, we have the option of uh, RAID 0. Let's go with RAID 0 then. <laughs> Not as if we have much of a choice. I updated the size here to use all of the space. We could go with half of the drives as one virtual drive and half of the drive as another virtual drive. We could do it like 100 gigabytes for the operating system and then we would have like 500 gigabytes for, for data which would be a, a good way to divide it up so that um, we had a data drive that could run out of space uh, without the operating system crashing because of it there is an option there yes yes okay next looks good set save yes oh so we could uh, do some SSD caching um, we're not going to do that it actually does see this uh, there's a 200 gigabyte SSD in here and it does see that as an SSD I don't think I've ever seen that before but we're going to cancel that and yes yes progress and it's done boom and now we should have yeah we have our drive here we have our physical drive down here and on top of that there's a virtual drive and up here we have our physical SAS SSD drive and there is a virtual drive on top of that so it's a bit opposite so well to my surprise that drive works so I'll have to get some spirit or something and wipe that bad off of there let's try another one this one is the drive that we just tested this one 600 gigabyte SAS drive and I have some hand sanitizer here that I was hoping, hoping would be strong enough oh that's a good squeak to remove the bad yeah okay it's, it's not perfect it's still bad but it's almost not bad so this one was okay that was surprising and we're gonna take the SSD out as well it's a very nice Hitachi SSD right there so yeah we're gonna we're gonna put that back here and then we're gonna replace this drive it has 
I have put in one tiny little screw, mostly so that the drive would come back out. It seems that this cage, the drive goes all the way to the back here, so it, we can push it in, okay. But I was afraid that it would just be in there and I would have a lot of trouble getting it out. So. Okay, that's that's a good drive. That's uh, let's have another one. This should also be a. S I haven't got a clue. Let's just put it in. Yeah, it's checking it. Oh, it doesn't sound good. It is spinning up. gonna be pissed at me okay we have something here that is not great we have unconfigured bat not responding unsupported let's check that it's it sees that it's a net app that's correct and it also sees the model number next unconfigured bat Okay, that's not great for sure. Link speed. Looks like we have a bad one. At least, <laughs> at least they're not all good. But this one is, um, it's not great. Okay, another drive here going in. Just one screw and also unconfigured bad. Let's try and scan devices, and it found the same thing. Yeah, we have another bad one. That's that's no fun, but that was what I was expecting. And the last one is just as bad as the previous two drive. So yeah, okay. I guess the first one might have just been a lucky one. So first drive of another model. I believe this is well, it's a Seagate Hewlett Packard branded Seagate. In it's a SAS and it's a one. Is it a SAS? It's a SATA. Sorry. And it's a one terabyte. So let's see how that goes. That doesn't go well. I don't think. I don't hear it spinning up. I just hear it clicking. There's lights in it, but it's nowhere to be found. It uh, does not register. Eh. Last chance for a good drive. Another mm, Seagate Barracuda. ES2 uh, 1 terabyte or 1000 gigabytes I don't hear it spinning up oh but it did show up that's weird maybe it's just very very quiet even says it's an unconfigured good let's see that model number is an ATA drive slot number blah blah uh, zero errors, predicted fail count zero, three gigabits per second. Okay, it might not be that bad. Let's let's try and create an array on it. Make sure that we can do that. And I'll take all the disk space again. Accept that. Yes. And next. Accept. Yes. Hmm. It did put a drive on there. So that one terabyte drive is also okay. And it has probably been my server out there that has rejected it. So, uh, okay. We uh, checked six drives and found two good ones. So that wasn't bad at all. I'm taking the drives apart to get the magnets out. And I do believe I found why this one is not working very well. It has totally scratched the top platter here, and it seems like the the and the tiny little reading thing on the other side of that head has just been well wiped all over the place. And there is a on the cover there are some black fine dust that um, has come off. So yeah, nothing wrong in throwing this one out. So this is the second of the two neodymium magnets that are in the hard drive here. And you can see it has collected a lot of that black dust that has come off the, the heads and the platters here. 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. Neodymium is a rare metal. It's it's there is actually a shortage, so it's it's getting valuable. Taking these hard drives apart is not a big problem. It's just a lot of screws, and then you have to um, know that there is secret screws underneath this um, silver plastic thing that you need to get to as well. Another one, it's a three out of three that looks like this, where the the head has dived into the to the platter. Not a great statistic, and you can see this is the filter. It's full of black dust. Okay, I am done taking drives apart. There is no going back now. Um, you should never take a drive apart and try to put it back together. Uh, except if there are some data that you're trying to get out of there and either way if that succeeds or if it fails the drive is trash so here are the magnets that i got out of here and these are well this is some metal that is that is it's not very magnetic really you you it is a little but it's but it's made to stop the magnet uh, and uh, i just need this this is the magnet the rest is just the mounting and it's glued on there and if you try to get the magnet off of there by let's see yeah. <clears throat> plying something under it like that you will most likely damage it neodymium magnet is very fragile so what i found is that if i bend the metal around it i have a bigger success rate so i'm gonna try and do that I have some tools here. Try not to touch the magnet itself. Ah, that's pretty hard. With there, you can see it giving up. Oh, ah, it's it's stuck on there again. And when you get that gap, it's way easier to to get the magnet out of there. And at that point, you can take a screwdriver and and loosen it off there. And you can see uh, it peels off this layer of protection that is on there. So that isn't fantastic, but it's. It's better than the magnet breaking or stuff like that. Um, putting these magnets together is, is really stupid. It's really hard to get them uh, from each other again. So whatever you can put between them. I have uh, I've found some, some cardboard that I'm just gonna be putting between them. So I'm gonna make sure to have one magnet here. And then we're gonna, this is a smaller one. This is now just trash like the rest of it. So I'm gonna try and get this smaller magnet out of there as well. That it looks rather flimsy. Luckily, this metal is pretty soft. You can see it has broken down beneath it. The protective stuff has gotten off of there, and we can. Carefully remove the magnet with as little damage as possible, but with some damage. There. So now I have a magnet on each side of the cupboard, and that's kind of enough so that I can get them to part. That was some of it. Then I have this mess. Um, yeah, they stick together. I have one here. So. Yeah, we might just get good at this. Yeah, that wasn't great. 
this silver layer is on there to protect the magnet because the neodymium magnet is really fragile so that is gonna keep it better so ah, there and it, it's it's just it's glued so well that it does not want to come off but and it's a good thing that it's glued well in the hot drive because you don't want it to come out but There's some plastic here. How do we get rid of that? Here we have my new denium magnet harvest from those uh, four hot drives and um, yeah sweet uh, they're very tough to get off of there if you want to remove one these small ones are manageable but the big ones well they're actually so close that it's really hard to get them off the cardboard but without the cardboard it's even harder and there's a very big chance of damaging them and that coating that they have on there is sharp, so watch out for your fingers. In the meanwhile, I have started up server 2019 and I have two new hard drives in here. I have the one terabyte. I've made a, well, a normal Windows drive on that and called it one terabyte SATA drive. And the 600 gigabyte, I've called 600 gigabytes SAS drive. And they show up in here, no problems whatsoever. So that is awesome. That was very cool. We got two drives out of six drives working. I have a nice bag of <coughs> dry trash here uh, that's gonna go into the garbage. I know that a lot of people will say, oh, but there is gold and there are shiny spinning discs. And I believe I have a stack of something laying around from last time I did that and I haven't used it for anything so I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of it if you're in need of drives like this you can always check out my little shop where these two drives that I just figured out wasn't bad at all is gonna go up adding to all of the drives that are already there and if I don't have it I very much recommend you go check out bargain hardware and that is bargainhardware.co.uk and if you use the coupon code or checkout code my playhouse small letters well you get 5% off of your purchase and yes I am affiliated with bargain hardware I always recommend you to look around check out prices different places but also take into consideration if there's something wrong with your used hardware purchase I know that bargain hardware takes care of their customers in that regard so this was mostly just a little cleanup video so that I could make sure that those drives were defective and they weren't all of them but um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.